Microraptor and Archaeopteryx spotted. Dino Experiment 720, which was the fastest prehistoric winged reptile, has begun. Our first race is between the Microraptor, who is a dinosaur with four wings to glide, two on its arms and two on its legs, and the Archaeopteryx, who is the first bird with two big wings on its side for flapping. It's dinosaur versus prehistoric bird time. Now to make me think I'm a predator. And we're off. It's beak to beak. Microraptor is slowing down just as the Archaeopteryx is speeding up. Looks like two wings for flapping are better than four wings for gliding. It's okay, Microraptor. You're one of the few dinosaurs that could glide. He still seems upset. Congrats, Archaeopteryx! Looks like being the first bird also lets you come in first. But there's still one more race to go. Dino Experiment 720, which was the fastest prehistoric winged reptile, continues. Our second race is between the returning champ, Archaeopteryx, and the Pterodactyls. They both have two wings for flapping. It's prehistoric bird versus pterosaur time. Now for my predator to scare them. <laughs> They're not scared of the drone. I think they figured out it's not going to eat them. Now how am I going to prove which prehistoric winged reptile is the fastest? Dino Experiment 720 continues. Now it's really prehistoric bird versus pterosaur time. My prediction is that the Archaeopteryx is faster because birds are still around today. Looks like they're hungry. its wings as much as the pterodactylus can. The pterodactylus' bigger flaps are speeding it up. Looks like two wings that can do bigger flaps are faster than two wings that can't. <laughs> Don't worry, Archaeopteryx. Even though you're not as fast as the pterodactylus, birds have survived for 65 million years longer than the dinosaurs or pterosaurs. <laughs> Prehistoric 